a consecration we must give to our Lord Jesus Christ. God's promise is, You shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your hearts. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 The whole heart must be yielded to God or the change can never be wrought in us by which we are to be restored to his likeness. By nature we are alienated from God. The Holy Spirit describes our condition in such words as these. Dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians 2 verse 1 The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. No soundness in it. Isaiah chapter 1 verses 5 through 6 We are held fast in the snare of Satan taken captive by him at his will, 2 Timothy 2, verse 26. God desires to heal us, to set us free, but since this requires an entire transformation, a renewing of the whole nature, we must yield ourselves wholly to him, and we must do it so we can go to heaven. The warfare against self is the greatest battle that was ever fought. By yielding of self, surrendering all to the will of God requires a struggle, but the soul must submit to God before it can be renewed in holiness. Submit your soul unto God. The government of God is not, as Satan would make it appear, founded upon a blind submission and unreasoning control. It appeals to the intellect and the conscience. Come now and let us reason together. Isaiah 1 verse 18 is the Creator's invitation to the beings He has made. God does not force the will of His creatures. He cannot accept a homage that is not willingly and intelligently given. A mere force sub mission would prevent all real development of mind of character. It would make man a mere automation. Such is not the purpose of the Creator. He desires that man, the crown, in work of his creative power, shall reach the highest possible development. He sets before us the highest of blessings to which he desires to bring us through his grace. We must give all to Christ Jesus now. Strive with all your God-given ability to get to heaven.